The Goodyear Welty machine was made and designed in the late 19th century in America. And it started to be introduced into the UK around the turn of the 20th century. At that time, all of the makers in Northampton would have been hand welting. So there was quite an uproar really in the factory industry for operatives thinking that they would then be out of a job. But they trained and they learned how to use the machinery and a balance of hand welting and machine welting. It helped the whole industry in the UK and in Northamptonshire specifically produce a much higher volume of footwear. The Goodyear welting machine in Trickers is based on our ground floor. It's a really highly skilled craft to stitch welts on a machine. And the machine, you can hear it as you walk past, it sort of shudders along the shoe. So wherever you are in the factory quite often, you can hear Ray downstairs stitching the welts into the shoe. My name's Raymond Byrne. I'm the welt, main welt sewer here. I started in the shoe trade in 1979, believe it or not. I don't look that old, but I am. <laughs> An old boy called um, Ron, he was one of the managers at Griggs's. He taught me and he used to stand behind me and when I used to get it wrong, he used to give me a slip, slip around the ear hole. You were allowed to do that then? The welt is a strip of leather that holds the whole construction together. In the repair process, it's the welt that actually allows us to repair that shoe, stripping it back and replacing the sole. If it wasn't for the welt, the whole shoe would be at the end of its life once the sole had worn out. So that really is the beauty of a Goodyear welted shoe. So we'll have two machines set up with different welts and next to them we'll have a big rack of all the different welts that Trickers offer because we do have quite a large collection now. And once the upper has been lasted over the wooden form, it's nailed in into the insole and the welt then is stitched. The thread is waxed with a hot wax goes through the machine with tension on it. It all goes through, the needle goes through, takes the thread through, goes through the upper, through the insole, and through the weld. You can't be scared of the machine. If something happens, it happens. The needles are red hot and they're going 2,000 revs per minute, so if it breaks, it does hurt. It does hurt, yeah. I have sworn a few times. With a pair of Tricker shoes, we offer a variety of welts. We have a natural welt, we have a tan, a brown and a black. And they tend to be our core collection of welts that we offer. Not only that, but we offer different styles. So you can have a flat welt that we tend to use in more of our dress shoes. We offer a barber welt, which is almost sort of a hybrid between a flat and a storm. And we also offer a storm welt, which is also known as a split reverse. And that's what we sort of fashion ourselves on with our country boots and our country shoes. So it's a heavier, heavier look welt. And all of these small components really do make up the overall look of your shoe. When I'm talking to customers on a one-to-one -one basis, I try and emphasize that just something as small as the welt really can alter a lot of elements. Trickers have an in-house repair department and we receive over 100 pairs a month to replace the soles and also replace different components of the uppers if they've worn away. We really, really do champion ourselves on having this department. Not only is it the sole that can change the welt as well, so you know if you've had a brown welt before you could go for a natural look. It's, it's a real design process, just, just repairing a shoe in itself. It's, it's almost like recycling an old pair of shoes that you've worn in really, really well and you've got the comfort, but then once they've been resold, they look brand new again, but you don't have to break them in. And it's like getting your old friend to come back and you can put them on and they're comfortable and they look great. And it's just a completely new look of the shoe. 